it's Lisa I designed for Coco Daisy and my April kit has arrived and I have saved it to open with you I'm really excited to see what's inside so I've taken the contents out and this is what I have I've got pink um, sorry pink yellow tissue paper today instead of the usual spotty which is really nice and sunny I'm gonna pop these to one side as I am heading straight for the main kit what beautiful April colours. I'm really happy with those. These look like Lisa colours, lots of teals and blues, greens and yellows. We are going to start with the stamps. I say this with every Coco Daisy kit that I open. As a designer, we always get the samples of the stamps. Um, as a subscriber or somebody purchasing a one-off kit, you will get yours properly packaged with Coco Daisy cute packaging. We just get the samples. So these are Domestic Goddess. We've got Messy Hair, Don't Care. That's me right now. I really need to go and wash my hair. Um, we've got Keeping It Real. We've got a cute little plant, some little triangles, and Life Unscripted, and that cute scalloped edge, and the like scribbly circly thing. That'd be quite cute to use as a frame and maybe like a little heart inside or something. Can't wait to use that. I could use those as flowers actually as well, couldn't you? Mmm, ideas, ideas. We have got a whole packet here of Domestic Bliss from Simple Stories. These are the bits and pieces. And as you can see, there's lots of bits and pieces in there to play with. Pink Fresh, I love Pink Fresh. Got these huge pack of puffy stickers, 43 pieces in there. Lovely, lovely, I love puffy stickers. They will be fun a really nice little packet here 62 lovely die cuts these are beautiful day hello by heather or oh, by hello heather sorry um really like those they are cute oh pretty little studio as well can't wait to use those that's going to be some fun title work got a pretty little studio again some really nice alphas grasshopper color very nice Pretty little studio once again, some really nice. Oh, these are custom for Coco Daisy look. I like those a lot. Really, really like those and they are stickers as well. Kind of thing you can use in your planner as well as um, your scrapbooking. A little glossine envelope here. I love that it coordinates with the paper. We've got some ribbon, it could be Again, as a designer, we don't always get everything in the kit because quite often, Christine, the owner of Coco Daisy, is still waiting for bits and pieces to arrive. It's obviously much earlier on when our kits get sent out a few weeks beforehand. So quite often, um, she's still waiting for items to come. So it could well be that there's extra bits in your glossing envelopes. Right, let's go straight on to the patterned paper. We've got Mummy-ish. Uh, this is Coco Daisy paper. Very nice. I've seen uh, some of the designers, the US designers, have their kits already, and I've seen, I can't remember who it is, and she's used this, and it's really, really nice. Um, I will see if I can find it and link up below, um, because it's a really good example of how to use that paper. I'm really sorry that I can't remember who it is at the moment. Um, Pink Fresh. Very nice. I like that. We've got some more simple stories. Can't go wrong with simple stories. Always a favorite of mine, as you know, if you follow me. A bit more domestic, I can never say that, domestic bliss. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Love the yellow spots. I'm a big fan of yellow. Very cute hearts. I am going to have so much fun this month. Feels some housey layouts projects coming on and another Coco Daisy mummy ish. Oh, I like the triangles, they are nice. And as always, there's coordinating cardstock. A very, very yummy springtime kit. I'd say that's another perfect kit. Well done, Coco Daisy. I'm going to go now for the coordinating papers. I always get the paper add on. This is something. Um, you can choose to purchase as an extra. The papers always go with the kits, but they don't actually come in the main kit. We've got this one. Who was this by? This is One Canoe Two Hazelwood American Crafts. Got some Pink Fresh. That's rather cool, isn't it? Oh, I love that. And we have got some more Pink Fresh. Rather 
fun. I've just bought um, a Simple Stories um, snap album actually and I've gone for the Insta Pockets and looking at these, these will be perfect so um, I still haven't used it either so I think maybe this month is my month to start. Some more Simple Stories, these again aren't in the main kit, these are extra to purchase. I will leave links below, love that. That's a really, really good paper add-on. I always find that it really increases my kit, it just makes my kit go so much further for just a, a little bit extra. Let's dive into my favourite part, the day in the life kit. Shall we pop this yellow out, what lovely tissue. It's really sunny outside today as well. I'm opening this on a Sunday morning and it's sunny outside. I'm about to put a stew in the crock pot and we're gonna take the dog up the common for a nice walk. I think Sunday's when it's sunny and meant for walks, aren't they? Right, let's have a look. Let's go straight to the stamp set again. We have got, let's see if you can see that better. We've got work, sick day, half day, all day, lots and lots of sayings, relax, plan. These are really good for your planners, actually. I like those. I do think the day in the life kits are really good to go with your planner, actually. Just bits and pieces. We've got pink fresh here, some foil die cuts, 44 pieces. Can you see that? We've got some, are these stickers or, no, um, I don't know, actually. Yeah, they feel like stickers. They're really cool. I like those a lot more pretty little studio these are fun they're almost like the diy color tags that you get when you buy paint some more love these coco daisy papers the day in the life kits always come with some pieces of the coco daisy papers cut down into six by sixes and evilicious stickers do love a set of alpha stickers can't go wrong with those and in the envelope we have got these are so nice beautiful beautiful paper clips they're so heavy as well really nice love those really got back into making mini books again lately actually they'd be quite nice on a mini book i need to have a display wall with all my mini books ha hanging right let's go straight to the journal cards we've got april april spring i'm just going to whiz through these quickly rather nice keeping it real I am just going to flick through these really quickly these are always really fun I just love using these sometimes I just love these cards so much that I frame them or I have little some clipboards in my studio and they're really fun. Ah, that's like the stamp, but a larger version. Like that, I really like that. I might actually pop that on a clipboard in my room, in my studio. Love that. They are the cards, aren't they fun? Love those. And lastly, I have my planner pages. I can set this up. What color planner should we go with this month? I think I will stick with my teal. Oh, yellow, should I go with yellow? No, I'm gonna go with teal. I've seen lots of pictures of these and I'm totally in love. These are the Monday to um, Sunday. I use these as my menu pages. Then you've got writing space on the back. Then you've also got the days of the week planner and they all have space for journaling on the back. And then there's also the daily to-dos, which I use every day as well. And again, you've got absolutely loads for every day of the week. So they are my planner pages. Thank you for joining me today. I think I'm going to be busy now. Um, that's me scrapbooking and setting up my planner. So um, look out for my process videos. I shall be posting them soon. Thank you very much for joining me today. Please do give me a big like. I always forget to say that at the end of my videos. Please do like and subscribe if you like what you see. And I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.